characteristics of glass. 1. Origin and discovery. How is glass made? It's a fluid that is known since the ancient age of man. Although its discovery is not exact, its origin begins when mixing sand and carbonate at high temperatures. 2. History of glass. The glass was already used by Muslim and Arab peoples. In this way, these people are awarded to use the two concave glasses with magnification to use them as binoculars. 3. Uses of glass. What's the use of glass? Originally, its use was strictly ornamental. Then, people gave way to the religious fair. Later, the manufacture of containers and everyday uses began, such as the elaboration of everyday utensils. Currently, its use are diverse and varied from bottles, dental, mirrors, windows, etc. 4. Recycling Glass is a type of material that can be recycled more easily than other materials. However, there are some types of glass that due to their composition, the recycling process is more extensive over time. For example, mirrors, window glass, spotlights and tempered glass. 5. Optical properties These properties refer to a part of the light is refracted, another absorbed and a third part is transmitted. The optical properties of the glass do not change over time. 6. Physical properties Composition of glass Although there are many ways to make glass, in general, glass is composed of materials of mineral origin fused thermally. Specifically, it contains quartz sand, soda, lime, magnesium oxide and aluminum oxide. Color The color is originated by the elements that are added at the moment of their fusion. For example, a bluish red color will be achieved by the use of cobalt oxide. A yellow color will be achieved by using ferric oxide and a bluish coloration will be achieved by the use of ferrous oxide. Texture The texture can vary the brightness of the glass. This depends on the melting process that has taken place. Malleability They are malleable when they are in their casting stage. The main methods of molding are pressing, blown, stretch, laminate. 7. Mechanical properties Softening The glass softens at approximately 730 degrees Celsius. Hardness It's 470 Hk. Resistance to compression It oscillates between 800 to 1000 MPa. Elasticity of glass It refers to the elastic elongation of a thin glass rod and how resistant this bar is. It has been shown that the glass has a resistance to elasticity to 70,000 MPa. Flexural strength It measures the resistance during the deformation of the glass. According to tests, it has been determined that said material has a flexural strength of 45 MPa. 8. Thermal properties As for these thermal properties, it can be said that the glass reaches a specific heat and also that it has a thermal conductivity. In other words, it conducts both heat and cold in the same way. Temperature for its softening Certainly, glass does not have a defined softening point. Thus, this material passes from a solid state to a plastic state with a pasty appearance. However, modification characteristics can be observed from approximately 600 degrees Celsius. 9. Electrical properties Dielectric constant is between 5 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius. It is a physical constant that explains or describes how an electric field affects or is affected by a medium. Surface electrical resistivity Under normal conditions, the glass has an electrical resistivity of 1020 ohm centimeter. This transforms it into one of the best known electrical insulators. 10. Chemical Properties Density Density depends on the type of material included in its manufacture. However, in general, the density of the glass is approximately 2500 kg per cubic meter. This gives the flat glass a weight of 2.5 kg per square meter. Viscosity It is the resistance that a liquid has to flow. 
Here we are in front of a solid material but we must also refer to the viscosity. However, the glasses are super cold liquids. It's for this reason that this chemical property of glass must be taken into account. Corrosion The glass is very resistant to corrosion. That's why it's frequently used in chemical experiments. Anyway, this does not mean that said material is indestructible. In fact, there are four substances against which the glass breaks. Hydrofluoric acid, high concentration phosphoric acid, alkaline concentrations at high temperatures, and water at high temperature.